Hey everyone, it's been a while since I spoke to you all. Man, this game is loud in my headphones right now. Uh, no, no, I can turn it. Uh, yeah, never mind. Whatever, we'll just keep being deafened by Astro's Playroom. Uh, so yeah, sorry that I've been MIA for a while. Um, my work gets insane around this time of year. Uh, so... Usually at the end of the day, I just I want to sit and I want to do nothing, and uh, hopefully you all understand that. But yeah, I thought I would make a little video. I got a PS5. I luckily, and if you've watched me stream this the other day, I apologize because I'm basically just going to be repeating the fanboying that I was doing in that stream the other day. Um, but yeah, I managed to get a. A PS5 pre-ordered, uh, luckily through uh, Amazon, because I was waiting for the pre-orders to go live when that shit show happened. Oh, I didn't notice that it leaves marks in the glass. That's cool. Um, and I'd pretty much given up because I had spent three hours trying to get Best Buy's cart to check out, which never did. Good job, Best Buy. And just before I went to bed, I checked out. Um, Wario64, I think his name is. He was on, uh, he was on the old Twits, and he was the one that was linking everyone um, to to whenever stock was up. And I checked, and 30 seconds earlier, he had posted Amazon's link. So I got in before that um, they all sold out. So uh, yeah. Let's talk about PS5. Now, I can't show you, and I'm going to keep talking about how cool this controller is. And I wish that you could uh, experience it if you haven't. It's it's genuinely the best thing about PS5. As fun as it is to play in 4K, which I'm obviously not doing right now, um, the controller is so fantastic um, that I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to go back to any other controller. Like... This, I don't know if you can really, it's probably not making any noise, but um, there's a, a pushback against my finger uh, that happens whenever I shoot. And that's in this game, that's in um, Fortnite they added it, the PS5 version, and also in Cold War. Those are the three main ones three main shooting dynamics I've tried out so far. Um, but that's just, it's so cool to feel like there's a recoil or kickback from a gun. And I say that as someone that's never actually fired a gun because I'm a giant British sissy. Uh, working class, so I never got to hunt uh, foxes, unfortunately. Um, it's just a little joke. I don't know if Americans will really get that, but fox hunting and the outlawing of it was a really big thing when I was a teenager in, in the old motherland. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I want to first take you to my Nintendo, <laughs> it's not Nintendo, it's Sony, but it's a Labo, or Labo, uh, and I'm pretty certain that's what the Nintendo cardboard shit is called. Excuse me while I wet my whistle. Uh, so yeah, when you, this game is just basically a tech demo for the PlayStation. Uh, it's fabulous. Uh, there, you can't really be bad at it. You can't die or anything. The, the goal is just to find things in levels. You find these artifacts, which are all PlayStation related. It's really cool. Um, you find puzzle pieces, which then go on the wall. As you can see, I found quite a few already. Uh, there's another one over here. But uh, it's basically, as a good friend of mine said, just a love letter to PlayStation, and it's so cool. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna do this. It, it'll probably happen again at the end of the video, but. I love it. I love everything about this. For a free game that's installed on every PlayStation, it's way more fun than it 
than it deserves to be. For what is essentially a tech demo, my wife's favorite part of any PlayStation is the SingStar mics. Uh, also, my brother, weird little fun fact, if he ever watches this, he's very good at SingStar, but you can't hear him singing. Like, he's worked out this weird whisper to hit notes perfectly in SingStar. Um, I don't know how he does it. I just sound like a tone-deaf freak, because that's exactly what I am. But yeah, the detail on this... Like, I feel like I can touch that texture, just looking at it. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I can't say enough good shit about this game. And we're going to go into a level, but you'll see these little uh, camera dudes everywhere. Uh, they're filming Astrobots recreating classic PlayStation or just video game titles. I'm going to take you to a level that wasn't in, like, the... The huge pre-order, um, not pre-order, but, uh, you know, the embargo shit that everyone, this is the level that everyone got to see before the PlayStation release because it was the only one that they could show was Cooling Springs. Uh, I really like this SSD Speedway, so we're just going to run through a level, um, Again, you can't really feel the best part of the PlayStation, which is the controller. But, uh, just know that I really think it's changing. It's going to change the way games are played, I think. But I don't know shit, so, uh, don't believe me. A lot of cool stuff you can do with it, though. Uh, so yeah, I've had this since Thursday. This was the only game I had at first. Oh no, I had Bugsnacks. Bugsnacks was a weird one. I like it now. When I first played it, I thought it was just weird for the sake of being weird. Um, I also don't know what game this is. What game is this reimagining? You'll probably know better than I do. This was my stream the other day. It was just me pointing out the games if I knew what they were, which was... Unfortunately, uh, less than I would have hoped for. Is there something up there? Oh, there's just a little Astro Bot up there directing traffic. Um, wait, what was I saying? I got distracted by the little Astro Bot. Yeah, so I've had this since Thursday. Uh, yesterday I went and I bought Cold War because... I uh, had to, I guess. I mean, I didn't have to, but... You know. For some reason, I'm one of those suckers that hates every card and just goes and buys it anyway in the hope that it'll change. But, I'll... Actually... Look at this one. A little Final Fantasy VII reference for you. you can smack the sword. I was wondering what level this was going to be on, because I assume Final Fantasy VII... There's a Resident Evil 1 reference in the Cooling Springs level. Um, and it's just them dressed as Chris and Jill uh, with a zombie Astrobot thing. I was so pumped when I saw that, though. Uh, yeah, Black Ops. So I played a little last night. Firstly, the install size is fucking ridiculous. So Demon's Souls, another game I got, has an install size of 66 gigs. The back of the Black Ops box says that you need a minimum, a minimum of 265 gigs. That's ludicrous. Ludicrous. So I got that installed. I don't know how often I'll say, but... Um, I did get the disk drive version of the PlayStation, so it's pretty quick. It's not like I'm having to download 256 gigs. And it also didn't automatically install the single player. It's just multiplayer and Warzone. And my assumption is that it's mostly Warzone that's taking up that, um, that space, to be honest. That trash was automatically installed on my, my beautiful new PS5 beauty. I also am probably going to keep saying PS4. A little 
Silent Hill 2 reference, Pyramid Head. Looks like he's got a block of cheese on his head. Um, keep forgetting my train of thought. No, Black Ops. So I played one multiplayer game, and uh, it was very... It was alright, actually. I think that's because I was playing by myself, and I wasn't with... Um, Oh, I remember pain. So I smacked this guy the other day, and I didn't, uh, I didn't catch what the game reference was. But pain. Oh man, I remember that. If you don't remember pain, it was basically this: you would just have ragdoll characters in the slingshots, and you would smack them, and you would just hit boxes and break boxes to get points and stuff. What was that on PS2 or PS3? I don't remember. I remember being really pumped for it, though, and uh, playing a bunch of it when it came out. Um, I will finish my thought on Black Ops now, <laughs> I promise. So, yeah, Black Ops, one multiplayer game. It was fine. It was re It's cool. The triggers, um, it's a little exhausting on your hands, because the controller is heavier. It's more in line with, I'd say, the... the Switch Pro controller, if you've ever had that. It's as comfortable as that. But these triggers are genuinely really hard sometimes to press down. So there's a lot of, if you're a fat, overweight loser like me, it's, uh, it's a little hand workout and not the kind of one that you do when you're by yourself in your room. Brother, brother. But I enjoyed the one game of multiplayer I played because... Uh, there was no real skill-based matchmaking. I mean, it was my first game, I was by myself. Uh, so I don't know if that will change. It probably will, to be honest, but... Um, hopefully it doesn't. I got... I haven't played Demon Souls. I haven't yet played that. Bug Snacks, like I said, I didn't like it at first, but then... I got used to, um, the weirdness of it and the purpose of it. Which is basically just like a Pokemon game. Did I not get this the other day? Oh, I thought I had missed something. A little Killzone reference for you. I never played Killzone, but uh, one of my old buddies on the old Resident Evil forum loved Killzone. This one is, uh, I recognize the character. Oh, it's Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Stupid. Um, yeah. You're gonna, I'm, if you thought I was bad at being distracted before with so much shit going on in a game, <laughs> this is gonna be a regular thing of this. This is probably the ast the only Astro it's Playroom video I'll upload, but I wanted to give you a little look at the PlayStation, although I'm sure you've seen this. If any of you have one, I would love to know your thoughts on it. I can't think that anyone would be anything but impressed by this. For five, four, five hundred dollars to be playing games that look as beautiful as this does at 4K is, is insane to me. It feels very much like this console is intended to be one that you sit on the couch and play with your friends. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any friends, so I'll just be sitting by myself to try to get Mrs. Moly to partake in some, but I don't think she's going to. Uh, what else did I get? I got Sackboy. Sackboy is... Uh, I just played the one level of it, but that seems like a really nice, cool, old-school um, platformer. Other than that, I haven't managed to test out any chat or anything yet. Uh, I know the PlayStation controller has a microphone in it. The, wor I, the thing I don't like about this is that there's no optical out, so my Astro Mix Amp I can't really use for this. I need to... I, luckily, I have an HDMI splitter um, for my work laptop to hook up to my monitors, and it has a headphone jack in it, so I can just plug it in there. The sound doesn't sound as good as it does through my mix amp, to be honest, so... I might have to get a new headset. Astro, if you're listening... Anyone, really. Anyone, if you if you have gaming headsets, then... Uh, um, you're not listening. 
I know you're not listening, but hook your boy up. Hook your baby boy up. The last thing I'm going to do is my addiction. Basically what I... As cool as I think this game is, and I talk about how amazing it is. Uh, I'm all about the gambling in this game. Nothing I love more than gambling in a video game. Alright, let's get up there. I'll take you back to the main menu. I just wanted this to be a quick video. Uh, I've honestly, the, the game I've played the most in this has been No Man's Sky. Uh, which has been amazing. I can't tell what this is supposed to be. Is it like Rock Band or something? Hey, my Astrobot just turned himself up. I assume one of you will know what reference this is. Um, yeah, that's okay. So let's go back to my uh, lab thing. Well, there's one thing I'm missing there. Uh, what else can I say about this? I don't know. I don't know. Just know that I'm s I'm in love with this console. Um, no Man's Sky at 4K is truly beautiful. And it's the game I've spent the most time on on, um, on this so far, so that should show you something. Oh. I keep thinking about getting a PSVR as well. Oh, what's the final artifact? Ah, PS4. So yeah, they have like three different PS4s in here. The original, this one, and then the Pro. Alright, one more pull, one more pull. I'm telling you, this is how you suck me into a game. I do need to get Borderlands 3 actually, speaking of Borderlands, because I haven't played that and I keep talking about getting it. Alright, Astrobots. Wait, I'm pretty certain there's some in here that have the coins. And I'm two coins away from another pull. And I I want my pull, damn it. I want my pull. Like, I didn't know, I didn't ever realize that there is a, uh, is this a PSP mic? And a camera and stuff? GPS? I, I never realized that the those had them. Or well, that console had them. Stop dancing, you freaks. Alright. Anyway. I'm, I'm sure that I will be... Uh, at some point. I don't know when. But I will upload some Call of Duty. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully... Hopefully the game's as fun as it seemed to be last night when I played it. How many artifacts am I missing? 1, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright. So I, I gotta go back and keep playing this. Yeah, let's just do it one more time. I will say that this get this console uh, makes me feel like a child again, in in the best way possible. Um, it's it's to me it's as game changing as the first time I played the PS One after coming from I think a Genesis. Just how magical that felt. Uh, that's what this console gives me. So I think it's. I think it's certainly if you're on the fence between an Xbox and a PS5, I haven't played the Xbox, but from everything that I've read, it's good uh, in terms of hardware, it's just that it doesn't, the controller is the real selling point on this thing. It is also effing huge. Like this might be to scale, I'm the Astrobot, that's the PS5. It's, it's a chonker, a chonky boy. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little look at Astro's Playroom. 
And um, yeah, if you have any questions on PS5, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.